Now, K-Gun 9 on your side first warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Starting off with a bird's eye view of the storm system, you can tell it is enormous. And with that very well defined eye, that center of circulation, it almost takes on the look of a hurricane, doesn't it? But I don't want to scare you. This is definitely not a hurricane, but this storm system is definitely meant to be taken seriously. It's being called an atmospheric river because with this counterclockwise flow, it's drawing in so much moisture from the eastern Pacific. In fact, it's kind of being funneled into that piece of energy right in the center. So an awful a lot of moisture associated with this storm system. And here's a closer look at this system that is intensifying as we speak. Only a few hours away now. A few spotty showers or sprinkles, I should say, here and there in southern Arizona. Heaviest of rain still over California, but starting to lift into northwest Arizona as well. So expect to feel those showers moving in from west to east. And boy, there's a lot of water in the air to work with. This is our water vapor imagery. And there's a lot more moisture with this storm storm system uh, than you would typically see with a winter storm this time of year or one that we'd see over us. This green, this bright white here, that tells us air that has high water vapor concentration and thus the possibility of bringing us some very heavy rain. And that is exactly what we're counting on. We're tracking it here for you. This is our future cast. You can keep track of the day and the time in the corner of your screen. As we advance this out through Saturday morning, obviously those showers become more widespread. 9 a.m. we see some very heavy rain, upwards of half an inch or more near Casa Grande, Oracle, Sholo, and Safford. Light to moderate showers still across Pima County, including Tucson, but do count on that rain uh, continuing through the afternoon. Here's Saturday, 4 p.m. We start to see some of that heavier rain nudging its way into eastern Pima County and likely into the Tucson area as well. Rain continuing Saturday night into early morning hours on Sunday. By 4 a.m. Sunday, we start to see some of those showers lifting off to the northeast. And then eventually by the afternoon, our skies clearing from west to east. But we have a much more serious winter storm warning now posted for the mountains of northwest Cochise, Graham, and Greenlee counties. We still have a winter weather advisory for the Catalinas and Rincons. Basically, what this means is that strong wind gusts combined with heavy snow will make for tricky travel in the mountains. In fact, travel through the mountains, the higher elevation is not at all advised here this weekend. Wind advisory in the area shaded in brown for Cochise, Eastern Pima, and Eastern Santa Cruz counties. That's where we're expecting some wind gusts topping out close to 40 miles per hour. So please use caution there. And only the highest of elevations really picking up snow with this storm system. So places like Mount Graham, Hannigan Meadow, and Summer Haven could see up to a foot of snow. Here's how it plays out in the seven-day forecast. 90% chance for rain Saturday and Saturday night, 30% on Sunday. Our temperatures cool to the 60s this weekend. And then rebound fairly quickly. We'll be back in the 70s, Stella, next week week. Get your raincoats ready and come out to Lion Cantata. That's right. Okay. Maybe, maybe your rain boots too. Your rain boots too. Why not? <laughs> we don't, don't get, get to use, use those much, do you? No. We'll take a look at this.